Hi there, welcome to Noctis on YouTube. Did you know that hospitals can actually sail? Yes, you heard that right. Hospitals on ships, commonly known as hospital ships, are a reality. A hospital ship serves as a floating medical facility. Most of these ships are operated by the military, especially the Navy. They are typically used in or near war zones. However, they are not uncommonly deployed during natural disasters in various regions. For centuries, hospital ships have assisted in various military operations, especially during times of war. For example, the Athenian Navy had its first hospital ship named Therapia. Meanwhile, the Roman Navy built its hospital ship called Esculapius. One of Britain's famous hospital ships was the Goodwill, which accompanied the Royal Navy squadron in the Mediterranean in 1608. At that time, this ship was used to accommodate the sick transported from other vessels. Later, during the British expedition to China in 1860, the steamships HMS Melbourne and HMS Mauritius became the first ships equipped with genuine medical facilities. These ships were managed by the Medical Staff Corps and provided extensive accommodations for patients, including operating rooms. In the same year, the United States Navy's hospital ship, the U.S. S. Red Rover also operated during the American Civil War. In the following year, many hospital ships were built to support military operations, especially during World War I and World War II. Two of the most popular hospital ships during that time were the RMS Aquitania and the HMHS Britannic. Today, modern hospital ships continue to operate and are managed by navies to support various military operations and provide assistance during natural disasters. The United States Navy, for instance, has two active hospital ships, namely the USNS Comfort and the USNS Mercy. However, before being operated as hospital ships, the USNS Comfort was originally named SS Rose City and served as an oil tanker, while the USNS Mercy was formerly an oil tanker named SS Worth, part of the Saint Clemente class. These twin ships are essentially floating hospitals, each with a capacity of 1,000 beds and equipped with various facilities like a typical hospital, including blood banks, morgues, and oxygen production facilities. However, unlike regular hospitals, these hospital ships are not designed to handle patients with contagious diseases such as cases of COVID-19. Interestingly, these ships have legal statuses as non-combatants. This means that Comfort and Mercy are equipped with defensive weaponry but are only allowed to use those weapons for self-defense. They are also not permitted to transport Navy personnel with combat specialization such as Naval Aviators, Special Operations Forces, Marine Corps personnel, or officers of the submarine and surface warfare communities. Due to the restrictions on carrying combat specialized Navy personnel, these ships are often staffed by civilians from the Military Sea Lift Command. So, have there been cases of attacks on hospital ships? The answer is yes. There have been several incidents where hospital ships were also targeted. For example, during World War II, several hospital ships were attacked and even sunk by enemy forces. One such incident involved the HMHS Rohilla, a British hospital ship which was torpedoed by a German submarine in 1914. This event resulted in the death of 85 people on board. Another attacked hospital ship was the AHS Centaur. This Australian vessel was attacked and sunk by the Japanese submarine I-177 under the direct command of Hajime Nakagawa. The incident occurred off the coast of Queensland, Australia on May 14, 1943, resulting in the deaths of 268 people on board. Nakagawa was later sentenced to four years as a war criminal. However, one nurse, Sister Alan Savage, who served on the AHS Centaur, managed to save herself and her surviving colleagues by using a life raft and struggling in shark-infested waters. 
her bravery earned her the George Medal. In April 1945, the German hospital ship SS Wilhelm Gustloff was attacked and sunk by a Soviet submarine, resulting in the deaths of 9,400 people. This incident is considered one of the world's largest maritime disasters, second only to the sinking of the RMS Titanic in 1912. In 1950, during the Korean War, the United States Navy hospital ship USS Benevolence was attacked by North Korean aircraft, resulting in the deaths of 23 people on board. 41 years later, during the Gulf War in 1991, the U.S. Navy hospital ship USNS Mercy was attacked by Iraqi forces, who fired missiles at the ship. Fortunately, there were no casualties in that attack. In 2015, during the Yemen conflict, the coalition led by Saudi Arabia was accused of attacking a hospital ship belonging to Doctors Without Borders, which was anchored off the coast of Yemen. The coalition denied responsibility for the attack and the incident was condemned by the international community. To address these attacks on hospital ships, the Geneva Convention of 1949 was established. According to the Geneva Convention, hospital ships are immune from attack and shall be respected and protected at all times. This was further clarified in the Second Protocol of 1977, which states that hospital ships shall not be the object of attack. In the United States Navy regulations, Article 795 specifically outlines rules for hospital ships, stating that they shall not be attacked and must be respected and protected at all times. Attacking USNS Comfort and USNS Mercy is considered a war crime. Attacking hospital ships is considered a serious violation of International Humanitarian Law or IHL and likely has legal and ethical implications. Some of the main implications include violations of international law where anyone or a group proven to have attacked a hospital ship can be prosecuted and punished under international law, including the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court. Attacks on hospital ships have the potential to result in loss of human lives. As we know, hospital ships are often deployed to provide medical care to military personnel and civilians who are injured or sick and may not have access to medical treatment. Moreover, attacking hospital ships can cause significant damage to medical infrastructure. This can disrupt medical services and care with long-term impacts on public health and well-being. The psychological impact on patients, medical personnel, and ship crew members can also be disturbed by attacks on hospital ships. Such attacks are feared to cause long-term trauma and emotional stress. It is for these reasons that hospital ships play a vital role in providing health care to military personnel and civilians. To support medical operations in various regions, many countries now have their own hospital ships. For example, the MV Global Mercy, built by the CSSC company in the Tianjin Shipyard, China in 2021. This 174-meter-long, 37,000-ton ship offers medical services, including six operating rooms, 102 beds, seven ICU beds, and 90 self-care beds. The ship is also equipped with facilities such as classrooms and a simulator room for training medical professionals, meeting rooms, workspaces, accommodations for 612 people, and a K-12 academy for volunteer children working on board. The MV Global Mercy has operated in Africa and served as a floating training facility in Dakar, Senegal. The ship has joined other hospital ships such as the MV Africa Mercy. Similar to the MV Global Mercy, the hospital ship MV Africa Mercy is equipped with various medical facilities including five operating rooms, an ICU, a CT scanner, a laboratory, a recovery area for approximately 82 patients, and an ophthalmology unit. This 152-meter-long, 23-meter-wide ship also features a fully equipped operating room. Other facilities on board include 126 cabins, a school, a library, a laundry area, restaurants, cafes, a shop, and a supermarket. 
Additionally, Spain owns the Esperanza del Mar hospital ship, built in 2001 by the Guion Yard of the Izar Group. Beyond its role as a regular hospital, Esperanza del Mar can also carry out ship rescue operations. The ship can transport containers for scientific research and provide logistical support in disaster-stricken areas. It is even equipped with a helicopter landing pad and helicopter refueling facilities. Apart from these three ships, Indonesia also has its own hospital ship of the Sudiro Husodo class named KRI Dr. Rajiman Wedyo Diningrat. This ship, belonging to the Indonesian Navy, is named after Dr. Rajiman Wedyo Diningrat, a doctor and national figure in Indonesia. The ship, measuring 124 meters in length and weighing 7,300 tons, boasts adequate medical facilities, including radiology rooms, surgical rooms, post-operative rooms, maternity wards, emergency rooms, laboratories, morgues, and treatment rooms for 46 people. KRI Dr. Rajiman Wedyo Diningrat can accommodate 163 ship crew members, 18 helicopter pilots, 66 medical staff, 158 patients, and 280 volunteers. The ship also carries three helicopters and two ambulance boats on board. It was planned to assist the Palestinian people after Israel's bombing of Gaza in 2023. Throughout the years, hospital ships have dedicated themselves to assisting humanity during conflicts, wars, natural disasters, and various disease outbreaks. We should appreciate the healthcare professionals and ship crews who serve on these hospital ships.